Did you guys invent this? Or did you find this deadlock ult? Team Otter. Holy novel. This is this is S tier. That's sick. That's genuinely competitively viable, which is a lot of bonus points. A lot of bonus points. Really got him. Let's go. Wait, make sure you see them. Make sure you see them. Bye, Camet. <laughs> we got two. One enemy remaining. <laughs> <laughs> probably like the ult lineup for a behold it's pro tier and you have to recognize that that's that's actually sick submit me a round where you cause as many fall deaths as possible on abyss and you win the round an enemy fall death is plus five an allied fall death is plus one and importantly a fall death does not count if it is not captured on camera in some way, shape, or form. Bonus points will be rewarded and removed for creativity and lack thereof. Breach ulting off bridge is likely to result in zero points. Scoring is subjective. The winner is going to be the one I personally feel makes the best YouTube intro. All right. Well, APAC are the reigning champions. I think we should start with them to see what the bar is. Submitted by Trader Feast, Team Chicken Rice Gaming. Hello, fellow huge enjoyers. This Funday Friday attempt was a very sad one. Riot is a big bully and removed the abyss queue. I will let the video speak for itself. Two rounds to condition them. They're gonna have full. They're gonna have full shields, by the way. As soon as they go for her shots, yeah. I'm gonna just play for, play off my setup. Every That's a trip. Probably one locking in it. I saw 143. Audio balancing could use some work. That's one. Everyone, I we might we might have, just in case this is one of the rounds we might need to jump off the map. He's getting stuck. He's getting yeah, yeah, stuck. Yeah. Oh well, guess not. Oh my god, we didn't fall off. <laughs> Okay, so you got six points, which is one enemy, one ally. Let's go. Let's go next. NA, the Otterman Empire. We've banded together to try banishing our foes to the Great Banana in the Abyss and prove once and for all that NA is the best region. We fought tooth and nail with a rotating roster of our loyal subjects to surmount this challenge, testing nine different agents and customs. Busy schedules and unforeseen events led us to only have three matches with a full five stack across the 10 members of our forces. Yet in the end, it was a small band of three warriors who found the most success just hours before the abyss queue was removed. You three stacked? In the case that we're crowned victorious, we've reached out to two noble randoms and await their replies via carrier pigeon. Interesting. Deadlock, Cypher, Sage. Okay. Valo plant. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Sage is going to wall. Deadlock ult and then oh it's an ult lineup where you stand here so the cocoon breaks and they fall now that's brilliant that's brilliant the point is if you block the cocoon's path chat then it will time out and it will eventually just they'll get freed and the idea is you'll stand on the wall here to block the path and they will get freed over the, the abyss and fall. <laughs> okay. I like the deadlock pick. They're using the cypher trip. Uh, cam, I think, is more important for capturing everything on camera. And then the idea was to use raised Sasha with this sage wall. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. The deadlock idea is very novel. For the return of Funday Friday, we chose to run cypher, deadlock, sage, raise, and rotated the fifth roll. Our Cypher's trip pulls the first enemy to the void and triggers Deadlock's Annihilation to snag the second man and suspend them in the air. 
Even if the cocoon isn't broken, it gets stuck and will send the enemy plummeting into the abyss, giving them time to consider where it all went wrong. <laughs> On the other lane, Sage places a wall to bait the enemies into jumping around and getting body blocked. If that fails, Raze will back them up with satchels for anyone still on the ledge. <laughs> okay, okay, I like that. I like that. Are we? Our raise is a random, so they're A, of course. With a shotgun. <laughs> so now we're just playing B oh. waiting room. Yeah. I'm letting it take. And you really have to hope they just eat that trip. Bring the walls, unfortunately. I'll go with the at least three here. Alright, wait, wait, you guys got this. You guys got this. Careful now. Pull them to their graves. Reeling. Let's go. Wait, make sure you see them. Make sure you see them. Bye, <laughs> Camet. <laughs> we got two. One enemy remaining. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you should have jumped with him! Let's go. Oh my god, wait, this is crazy. Wait, this is actually so good. I have to detract points for like... You kind of deviated from the plan by deadlocking old thing too early. But... This is so good. I'm legitimately going to use this deadlock ult. Isn't this good? Competitively, when you think about it, it's actually good. Like, because even if they break it, they're dead. They're, they're going this way. <laughs> so it's, a, it's actually a good usage of her ult. And this is the site Deadlock should be playing on B. I've already been saying I think Deadlock might be reasonable on this map. And you're telling me you found an ultimate lineup that's competitively viable? Did you guys invent this? Or did you find this deadlock ult? Team Otter. Holy fuck, it's novel. This is this is S tier. This is S tier. Because this is genuinely a competitive use case for the ability, which is insane. It's actually insane. How lenient is that? You seem to just aim there. 30 seconds left. Nilly nilly. Make them regret their choice of profession. Pull them to their grave. Ultimate rage. Pull them to their grave. Ultimate, nothing there. Ultimate, ultimate, nothing there. ultimate rage. That's so lenient. Pull them to their grave. Ultimate, nothing there. Ultimate rage. Okay. Nothing Everyone there. who's playing deadlock, hug the back wall. Do the thing. Ultimate, nothing there. Gone. Now that might not lead to them getting stuck on this bit without the lineup. Where's some attackers POV? Pull them to their grave. Ultimate. Nothing oh my there. god. Ultimate ready. Pull them to their grave. Ultimate. Nothing there. You, do you have to do it like yeah? You've got to jump. Pull them to their grave. Ultimate Have, ready. Having to jump nothing is there. a problem. Having to jump over here is a problem. So it's probably not the best. Okay, okay. Anyways, that's sick. That's genuinely competitively viable, which is a lot of bonus points. A lot of bonus points. Got him. Let's go. Wait, make sure you see them. Make sure you see them. Bye, Camet. <laughs> we got two. One enemy remaining. Uh, Alum, the sound sensor jump up doesn't work in like a professional environment. They don't have to shoot Sound it. Sensor up. Um, they can... You can silent jump this completely. Well, not if you're me, apparently. I suck. Uh, but you can full silent jump this. However, I do recommend you play like sound sensor like here, where it's... They can't break till after the jump. Up. And then you play like here. And then even if they silent jump, you get the kill. Um, so like maybe it's a double man setup. With one guy here as well. I'm not sure. Like we're talking like genuinely like... At a top level. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how many fall deaths? I think it's two, hey, you right? Got you guys got them. Feeling got them. Let's go. Wait, make They're sure hot. you see them. Make sure you see them. That's one. Uh, Camet. <laughs> and then two. 
and then Killdrake dies, and then we jump off. So you get just that is 11 points, two enemies, one ally. And I am going to give you a 10 out of 10 on creativity, which is a total of 21 points. You get a maximum score on creativity because this ult is genuinely pro tier. The ult is legitimately like if deadlock receives a minor buff to a degree where she's pickable in pro play, this ult lineup is probably like the ult lineup for a behold. It's pro tier and you have to recognize that That's that's actually sick. <laughs> Wait, jump off. So jump to be off, clear, you could still lose to a team that just killed four people falling off the map <laughs> with zero creativity. But let's keep watching. Bonus clip. Wait, 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 wait. We might get him. <laughs> nice. It's so consistent. This one's mid. Watch him. <laughs> <laughs> One enemy. <laughs> oh, I missed. Nothing there. I missed. I missed. Oh, I just got killed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I had. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait. Everyone, everyone in front of me. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I love standing here. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, everybody hold. Oh, <laughs> oh. I wish this thing could grab multiple people. That's the buff deadlock needs, right? Like Ray's ultimate can kill five people in a clump, right? Why not deadlock ult? Imagine it pulls three guys off. Please allow us to introduce the banana hand that plotted these devious strategies, which enabled the five snack GG to enchant you today. Mr. Potato, Bobtail Squid, Burb, Artie, Loop, Squirrel, Awesome, and Robin Wobin. Okay. Once we understood the peculiarities of each agent, we were able to use their quirks to our advantage. We transcended the dimensional confines of Valorant's Alpha Earth and its radiate overflowing realms, and our Omega counterparts started to drop like flies into the abyss. This was abysmal. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's so loud! I'm lowering the volume a bit. Part of your video it would have been so gas guys i'm sorry you really the bloopers don't go at the start of the movie the bloopers go at the end I think funny loop subtext would have been different person than street or something because <laughs> I always get them confused. Artemis. Squirrel. 
This is a lot of walkouts for a team of five. Listening. Okay. Is that attack round? Okay. Don't tell me you're just gonna breach hold them off bridge. Because I I said in the description this would be a zero, and I meant it. Because that is <laughs> let's see let's see the astra pull off bridge is also pretty low create that because that was known since day one so let's see let's see what you cooked no surprises is it like a jumping deadlock hole This is genius. One enemy remaining. Wait, I didn't see this guy fall. Here. This is genius. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God. The deadlock ult was not a fall kill. That was a deadlock ult kill. Keep watching, please. Look, man, you're the one who edited the video. You get to choose what I have to watch. You're the one who gave me all of this. That's on you. That's on you. That's the round I believe you wanted submitted. I think. So I believe that's we're going to say six points because one enemy, we caught the Astra Star person falling off. And then one ally. I believe I got that right. One enemy Astra Paul 2. <laughs> Yuri go. jumps off. I don't see the Astra. Let's go. Robin Wobbin does not appear to catch Astra on their POV at all. See Astra land? Where? I see her gun. Oh, right there. Bet eight points. So creativity, purely scoring off of the falling kills. Because I would give you a lot of points for the deadlock ult, except the deadlock ult is not a falling kill. It's just a normal kill. They just die to the deadlock ult. So just talking about the falling kills you got, which is the Astra Star, I have to score it low because this is something that everyone pretty much knows about already. Um, like, I think it was day three of the map being out. I had... People in my chat like, hooch, hooch, did you see the Astra star to pull people off bridge? So I'm going to give this star, hmm, the Cypher trip, I give a three out of 10. I'm going to give the star one last point. Arbitrarily, because I knew about the star and I didn't know about the trip. That's it. Arbitrarily. Get your take on the round after this one, though. <laughs> yeah, I'll watch. Don't worry. I'll watch the rest of your video. <laughs> we just wanted to make sure we got the submission in, which means, though, by a landslide, North America is the best region. Even if North America were given zero creativity points, they would have won with a score of 11. So it is inarguable here. Even if you disagree with my subjective creativity scores, it's not even close.